Naked bodies beware, you will be painted. I'm Candy Johnson, and this is The Naked Truth. Welcome back to the Skin Wars After Show. Tonight's competition was super challenging. The airbrush gods were back on top, and Mythica was not the hero to bring them down. With the threat of going home looming over her head, the judges forced Mythica to hang up her cape. Tonight, I'll be talking to one of the quirkiest contestants, Mythica. But first, let's unveil what happened in episode four. The first challenge was Face Your Fears, where each contestant had to paint their greatest fear on their face. Shaving your head? This is for $100,000. Shannon won by depicting herself in one of her greatest fears, which was being left for dead after an internet date gone wrong. It was a very vulnerable move, but the judges respected that. Oh my god. I mean, to show herself just hideous and decomposing is pretty brave. It's pretty brave. The judges were upset that Dutch didn't follow instructions and paint the neck. His face was so scary. Like, who thinks of what a spider's face looks like? It had hair, it had little teeth, or I don't know what spiders have, but if you weren't afraid of spiders, you would be afraid after you saw his face. And I'm sorry, but if a spider's coming after you, who looks at a spider's neck? Wow, Dutch is afraid of spiders. This, like, big dude feels the same way that I do. Then we move into the concept challenge, superheroes. Contestants were tasked with the challenge of creating an original superhero that represents themselves. We're gonna be pink and purple, glitter galore. Hi, Natalie. Awesome. The superhero is me as a superhero. I want mine to look like Superman, so I decided to go with a man. This one is based on the tetrahedron. Tetra who? And what? They got Linda Carter to be the guest judge? Wonder Woman? I've always wanted to do a Wonder Woman look. That just rocked my world. Hell yeah. Are you kidding me? It's Linda Carter, it's Wonder Woman. Belly One was Super Daddy, a hero that protects all little girls that don't have fathers. It was a very personal challenge for me. To any father that's out there that's not taking care of their kids, you need to invest and create as many memories as you can with your child. His piece was emotional and brought his other contestants to tears, especially Shannon and Natalie. I personally find that incredibly amazing and wonderful and shows so much of Feli's character. I lost my dad a couple years ago and the fact that he would do that just shows what an incredible person that he is. Mythica reveals that she's very afraid of being eliminated because she doesn't even have a home to return to. All my anger, rage, frustration, everything comes out. Whoa. <laughs> because Shannon won the previous challenge, she got the ability to take away 30 minutes from any contestant that she chose. Right in the middle of them working, they had to sit out for 30 minutes. Who did she choose? Mythica. And they both ended up in the bottom three in the end. Karma's not a fun thing, Shannon. Mythica got eliminated because she didn't bring it. And the judges said her overall theme was that she had a lot of excuses for everything. I had a little bit less time than I thought I was going to have. I'm really sad to see her go because I don't know where she's gonna go home to. I don't know where she's gonna live. There's no way that you guys have seen the last of me. There's no way. Tonight's guest is Mythica, and she's one contestant that certainly wasn't afraid to be herself. So oh, not worthy. If I'm going to battle, I'm gonna dress for it. After letting the demon out last night, <laughs> I actually feel really good. Focus, Daniel san I am not gonna win $100,000 if I keep doing what I'm doing. <laughs> Hi, Mythica. Thank you so much for being here so I can talk to you. Hi, Candy. I'm having such a fan geek moment right now. I, I love you. Yay, I love you too. I have all kinds of questions to ask you. Are you ready? Yes. Do you blame Shannon for being eliminated because you had that 30 minute setback where you couldn't start, you know? That's a huge disadvantage. Blame doesn't work for me, but did it contribute to me not making it past that round? Absolutely. What was one of your biggest fights with Shannon in the house? I didn't really have a fight with her, but she came home crying one day and I felt so bad and, and I'm like, What's wrong? And I just wanted to console her. And she's like, I just have to move out. I don't know what I did. I have, I still have no idea. If I'm going to show my mad skills, yeah, I'm going to show my mad Why didn't you paint it before you put it on the back of your head? Are you I know, but I, don't, I could only your sacrifice so much oh, time. Yeah. yeah. It's really creative. Well, yeah. apparently not creative enough. It would totally be OK to reconciling with her because she has a big heart 
she's a good person, you know? You were positive most of the show, but there were some parts when your anger came out a little bit. Do you think that affected your work at all? I made a very conscious choice to be vulnerable in front of basically everyone in America and around the world. I thought it would be better for people to see that even I can break down and have a hard time than to try and hide it. I'm frustrated. This could be my last day and no one could even look at me. Now, we also heard that you have several professions. Can you list some of them for us? A professional chalk artist. So I go around the country doing chalk art. I'm also a certified hypnotherapist. I'm also a Reiki master. So what else? I heard you're like a minister, a ghostbuster. What are these other fun ones? Yeah, well, okay, so the ghost busting is the one that's definitely most outside of the box. Like one night I was body painting. And I get a phone call from one of my friends that says, my sister's freaking out flying around the house, floating in the air. There's bite marks on the kids. Can you please come over and take care of this? And I went over to her house and I like did a casting out exorcism. It was pretty crazy. It's like the one thing, like I it's my one little cool thing that I can do. The show wouldn't have been as amazing without your positive presence and love and everything that you gave off. Body painting, really it's so much deeper than the skin and just art, but that there's a spiritual component to it. Thank you so much, Mythica, for letting me talk to you. That's the Naked Truth, guys. Be sure to watch Skin Wars Wednesdays, 9 p.m., 8 central on the Game Show Network. The challenges are getting crazier and crazier. Then, immediately after, come here to Door 3 and watch me. Comment below who do you think is going to be kicked off next. You, your name, could be seen on the screen next week's episode on the TV. That winner will also receive Tattoo Junkie Body Art Cosmetics. I'm Candy Johnson, until we paint again. Natalie won with her 70s roller girl. She had the rainbow suspenders, the knee-high socks. It was out of sight. It was like a schoolhouse rock cartoon yes. yeah. came to life. Yes. And you see like rainbows and stars shooting out of her ass. Uh -huh. Like that's what it looked like. <laughs>